in pursuit of one of these championship belts. They've both been extremely close, one game away in some instances. And now in this situation, one of their journeys for that belt is going to come to an end. It doesn't get bigger than this. This is a fire matchup. It is win or go home. One more time here in Pizza Hut Stadium. It's Bugs as the 49ers. You got Joke as the Eagles. Two guys with a lot of Madden games underneath, well, I was about to say their belt, but <laughs> no belt. they don't have one. So we'll have Joke start off with it first. We're going to see a lot of speed out of the 49ers, and you're going to see that ground and pound style here of Philly. So right now they're just you know finishing up their depth charts just in case they need to venture out into the run formations. He's actually going right to it. He's going right to I form tight for Bugs. Let's see if Joe could stop it. They've had some success. Everybody a part of that elite Madden crew been running that I form for majority of the day. First and ten. Let's see who can set the tone here early. Joke in the all white Eagles uniforms. Bugs comes out in the all black uniforms of the 49ers. And who would have thought, if we were this deep in the tournament, who would have thought that the two teams you would be seeing are the <laughs> Eagles versus the 49ers, huh? And we'll I have to say again, look at all those superstar abilities over on the right side of that line. That offensive line is incredible, and you have Zach Hurts right next to them to have that extra routes with the TE apprentice ability. And, RG, just like you said, Eagles, Niners, this year, more than any other year, you're seeing such a variety with teams, and it, it, it's such a great, as a viewer, as a commentator, it, it's just awesome to see not the same teams against each other. Yeah, I, I'm going to go out on, on a limb, and in, in 16 years of doing this, um, this is the most diversity I've ever seen in the team selection, bar none. Playbooks, teams, different styles of play. It's been fantastic. It's so enjoyable to watch. Second and eight as Joke and Boogs have a side conversation. Here before this second down, quick throw to Ertz. Ertz will pick up the first down and more across midfield to the 48. And I love what Joke did right there. He's going to run the ball, motion in Lane Johnson. And instead of running it right there, he shows Boogs, hey, I can pass when I motion him. So now if you're Boogs, you need to be on the lookout for that. That's a great move right there for Joke to establish the pass in that situation. So now Boogs has to respect it. Usually double A is a bad thing <laughs> on a snap. It worked out there. Yeah, it's either an accident or maybe Beast Mode told him, listen, when he's in 5-2 and he's playing run D, he's blitzing those linebackers. He's sending seven. So Joke knew I'm going to fake the run and just hike throw. Ertz is going to be wide open. Well, you forgot about that whole backstory. You just play Beast Mode Mac. You get the inside scoop <laughs> on the scouting report for Joke. He's to have that inside information. Second and nine. Carson looking downfield. Has a man, and it's a Ooh. touchdown for Joe. Talk about a game of inches. Boogs clicks on, gets over there. No old man stick, but just misses it. And instead of a pick, it's a TD for Joke. And with that, I think that was Richard Sherman on the left side. That was cover two. That motion verticals beats cover two every time. But the fact that Richard Sherman has that zone out ability, it forced Joke to wait a little bit to throw, and that was almost an interception due to that. So 7 nothing. Boogs is going to have to answer. It was so sweet, guys. We got to look at it one more time. Right there, you see the motion vertical route. Richard Sherman got beat. Colbert almost made a play, but Aguilar, at the end of the day, got the touchdown. And for anybody that might be criticizing Boogs about, you know, why the 49ers? Why, why even go with them? Uh, an interesting stat is they have the second best win rate in all of online head-to-head -head for Madden this year. Somebody asking in chat, is, are these the regular teams? Yeah, we're playing regs here. Head-to-head -head play, shoulder to shoulder. The current Philly roster, minus Scott getting cut today, and the 49ers and all that speed. And I like the fact that, you know, online, on Twitter, everyone's complaining. Armbar is too effective. Escape artist is too <laughs> effective. You're seeing two guys about to make, possibly win the tournament, and they're not even using those abilities. Can we Maybe. be real, though? I mean, 
if, if there wasn't additional lineman abilities With put it. in a couple weeks ago, you, you don't see this Philly team anywhere. Probably not. Garoppolo, quick six yard pass to the outside. That's gonna bring up second and four for Boogs. Trying to answer after that 72 yard passing performance in the opening drive there by Joe. Jimmy G, gotta get away from the pressure. Uh, pick up two yards, but that was risky. Here's the thing. Bugs, he might be having flashbacks of Fletcher Cox. You remember, he just played against this Eagle team like he talked about in Beast Mode Mac, and he had some trouble against them, but here he is. And there's Kettle. Nice job on a drag, and maybe that's some hey, of the adjustments, Lights. Close iPhone on my, they keep saying close iPhone. That's a needed. It's connected to. I've seen Skimbo running that exact same concept. You're running a, a mesh drag concept, but then you have additional blockers. Really something very hard to beat when you're running a zone blitz. I think the, 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 the noise canceling headset, the Bose noise canceling headset that he has is somewhere Bluetooth connected to someone else's iPhone. Yeah, there's an audio issue iPhone. here. No Where's Chow? I want no sound on the headphones. They keep saying. I mean, this iPhone. isn't game related. You, should, you shouldn't yeah. need Chow here That's for true. this one. <laughs> no. You don't need it. This is a technical issue. You need the Geek Squad at this point. Seven to nothing is where we currently are. Joke with the lead. Had the ball first. Books on a drive here with 2.30 to That's go in the, here in the first. Remember, this is win or go home. And, and for those wondering right now, you see the veteranness of Kiv and Joke. You're playing these games for big money, a lot on the line. You put a lot into this. As soon as something doesn't feel right, they're doing what they're supposed to do, pausing the game immediately and getting the admin involved. I can't stand those situations where you want to talk to the admin about three quarters into the game after things haven't gone your way. This is the way you're supposed to do it. As soon as the issue arises, you get him involved. That's what Joke do, is doing right now. That's what we saw Kiv do in the last game. Well, let's take a listen in and find out what's going on down there on the stage. Thank you. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. All right, looks like it's all resolved. Hey, when you're not hearing Taylor Swift coming in, you need some T-Swift. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that to Joke. Hey, she just dropped a new album. Joke's... Joke, Joke loves the T-Swift. Savage call. First and ten. Hands it off to Ooh, Coleman, sticky. a little spin Ooh. move. Look at Bugsy! to the outside. Ooh. And he'll be dropped at the 37-yard line, first and ten. Bugs is out here inspiring all my guys that are 30-plus that still play this game, showing you can still have stick work, you can still have a family, you can have a ton of responsibilities, but you can still play this game on a high level. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh. Come on, punks, don't, don't do that to me as, as I'm paying homage now. Almost a disaster, second and seven. Jimmy G once again. In this big time, one, four, six, very similar to what kiv has been doing on defense. You see Joke. Vertical. Heavy pressure and accurate throw. How many bunch players are left in the tourney? It's, they're starting to drop off. That's the, that this thing's going on. It's tough, because with Gun Bunch, when someone's sending a seven-man rush, even if they max protect, it's really hard to pick it up when they're bringing that safety down in the box. And then they fake it, and it'll only be a three-man rush, and then you got to worry about Fletcher Cox getting single blocked and coming in. So you don't know if he's blitzing or if he's only sending three. Very difficult in a passing formation like Gun Bunch. All that traffic on the bunch side doesn't help as well. Coleman trying to get to the numbers. He will pick up the first down. Under a minute to go in the first, and it's a new set of downs for Boogs. I want to see him eventually try Goodwin. I know that now he's too close, about to, you know, he's about to be in the red zone, but this looks like a cover zero type of defense. I want to see if he could beat him over the top on the one-on-one. -on -one. Right now, this isn't a good situation, but later on in the game. Garoppolo once again. This time he'll head it off to Coleman. Former Atlanta Falcon making the move out west to the bay. And he gets a gain of absolutely zero. Good defense by Joke. Every time that Boogs was, was running the ball and, and had some success, it looked like Joke's defender was shooting the gap and Boogs was running away. That time, it did not work so well for Joke. And for Boogs. 
that will be the end of the first quarter. Joke for the opening score, leads the ball game seven to nothing, but Boogs on a drive. Joke is sending up that same defense. You don't know if he's blitzing or if he's only sending three. Bluffed it. I but like Pettis that. Pettis getting into the tender space there in the seam. And if I'm playing against someone that's got that one four six, not saying you want to take your advice from me, but I'm looking to quick hike you. These guys constantly want to grab both of those cornerbacks and manually move them in. And guess what? That takes time. So if you get out to the line of scrimmage and you see him trying to move those cornerbacks in, hike it. Give him a quick hike. Don't give him time to set up that very effective defense. Got that from Books right there, and he got a big gain because of it. I like that adjustment. I, I take my steakhouse advice from you, and I take my Madden advice from Lights. <laughs> Fair enough. Is that all right? Lights, spack me up on this one. <laughs> no, he, RG is, is right on that one. But listen to me from now on besides that. <laughs> Jimmy G, low throw, Kittle. Take it down the four-yard line. It'll be a third and goal. So one of the negatives of Bunch is this situation. You're going to run Gun Bunch in the red zone. It could be difficult. you got to mix it up. Maybe go with like a spacing type of concept or run the ball. Coleman gets to the outside, and he will just walk in and pin in the PAT. We're going to be tied here at Pizza Hut Stadium. No, I'm looking back there on the floor, and one thing I want to call out is how cool it is that so many players are sticking around. Uh, there's tons of seats just filled up, and they got their eyes glued to that main stage watching these guys play on, and it's just showing the support that they have for each other, um, the love they have for the game, and I love to see that type of stuff at tournaments. Sky Cole, RG, lights out. James Cole keeping us updated with what's going on. Evan's been roaming around. Nick has got to be somewhere doing something. Great defense right there. Boogs again running the 5-2. Joke is trying to motion Lane Johnson over to pick up a block to get to the second level, but he's actually not able to pick someone up. I wonder if it's because he has five defensive linemen out there. Second and 10 with 3-10 to go here in the half. Second possession here for Joke. I think Boogs is moving Richard Sherman, maybe to safety. I think he moved him. He's on the right side. So talented, but he can also cost you. Doesn't have a lot of wheels. If he doesn't get off a good press, he can give up a bomb in a hurry. Wentz picks up the blitz all alone. And a huge hit. So I want to call something out right there. Joke actually took Lane Johnson out of the outside tight end spot and put uh, Ertz in. Maybe he feels like versus the 5-2, that's not a good situation. Maybe I want to put him actually at right tackle or somewhere on their offensive line to establish the run or at least pass block better. Showing blitz once again. This time Scott will pick up the first down. And we'll have a new set of downs at the 36. And he's starting to eat this clock away, RG. Yeah, probably going to get to the two-minute warning here. These are two veterans. I mean, there's it's going to come down to maybe one or two mistakes being the difference. And when you talk about the veteran this, we talked about the seven EA majors that each of these guys has made. But you got to understand, too, these, these are accomplished players. You have Joke has made over $100,000 and prize money in this MCS era. And Boogs has made over $76,000 in this MCS era. So these are guys with a lot of experience and a, a lot of credential to back it up. Second and 10. Ertz. Hand it off to Scott one more time. How interesting has it been, guys, this week of not only are we playing with regular teams, but we've had a lot of movement around the NFL. So Jadamie Clowney no longer with the Texans. Would that be a team that people use? Scott getting cut by the Eagles. Would they be still a liability? Doesn't matter. Rosters are locked. Here for the remainder of the tournament. And there's a big hit, but not before Joke's able to get all the way down to the 31. It's a great corner out right there. Definitely a big hit, nice hit. Joke doesn't matter, though, as long as he got the first down. 
Hands it off again. And Scott cuts it back against the grain. Touchdown, Joke. We get the ball back. Great adjustment. Putting Lane Johnson back at right tackle. Ever since he's done that, he's running the ball much better. Not, not to mention he had great user skill right there with Boston Scott getting right seven. Dear Bugs, in this situation, you, you want some points, but you also have to be careful not to get too greedy. The most detrimental thing you can do here is turn it over and let Joke get points before the end of the half. I've seen that happen one too many times in this situation. Bugs is a veteran player. He should know this. He's got to be careful. He could double dip the chip here, though. Look at it again. A little high kick, a little celebration. It was a cute little jump animation in the <laughs> end zone, wasn't it? Hey, when you're listening to T Swift, sometimes you just, you know. The troll train <laughs> has taken form. First and 10, 52 seconds ago. Does have all three timeouts. But this is a white glove situation. Coleman. Ooh. What are you doing here, Lights? We got 48 seconds to go, two timeouts now. Looks like based off that run, Bugs is okay with maybe just getting three. Like RG said, you know, you don't want to force it. You don't want to just pass just to pass. If you get a pick six, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be a game over. So you got to be a little bit cautious of that. If you're going to pass, maybe sometimes settle for a flat pattern. We'll see what happens. Wheels open. Jimmy G finds good one. And it will be a timeout taken down in bounds right at midfield. It's not the time for the bend don't break defense, I can tell you that. Might need to send some heat. Boogs is focused. He's, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Old Reggie Brown's sick of losing. Maybe Choke is too. Garoppolo oh. buys time and it goes up top. He's fortunate. That, that was, that's just an incomplete. I was going to say that was phenomenal pocket presence, and then he goes and just chucks it. Bad decision. Yeah, in that situation, you simply want to click in the right stick. What that's going to allow you to do is throw that ball away, play it safe, live to fight another down. Right at midfield, right there on the Madden NFL 20 Classic logo. By the way, I'm digging all the new graphics here in the new season. And Pettis. Get to the 44, and he will burn that timeout. Not a timeout, now for Books. It's that Pizza Hut Stadium, Scott, with that <laughs> Madden Classic logo right in the middle. And all I'm waiting for is when they're going to add the red roof. They got to get you on the design team then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Third and five. I don't know what your Photoshop skills are, but something tells me there. It's a low rating. Donnie Moore would, would maybe give you a, maybe a 20, 20 out of 99. That's the shade. Classless. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tight window there, 22 seconds to go. And now you got fourth down. What do you do? All right, I mean, he's punting. Punt. I think that's fine. That's fair. Get the boot out. I don't like that throw, though. If he, if he got a pick, that could have been a pick six going the other way. Difficult throw. Push the stick over till you feel the rumble and then punt it away. I like that tip. That is a pro tip. It's easy as that and just didn't get the accuracy. First and 10 from the 20. And now you're on the other side, Joe. Maybe a couple runs here. Yeah, I think he's just gonna run, try to get lucky. I mean, he has three timeouts, though. That's what I'm saying. Hand it off and see what happens. See what happens. You, you see the push those old linemen are getting on that right side of the line. They just threw those D linemen backwards. Look at this. Ooh, oh, big hit. baby. Boston Scott could lay that on the ground and with a big hit like that. He's a small guy. He's like 5'6 or something. Fortunate to hold the ball. This might be the final play of the half. After that hit, that would have been my final play <laughs> ever. Uh -oh. Scott, though, uh -oh. gets some room. Colbert will force him out of the 42. He's got one second to take a shot, unless he's got a 59-yarder in him. 
One more run for good measure. Or do you take that shot? If, if, if I'm joke right there, if you're not kicking the field goal, I, I, I'm trying to cut that run got back it. to the middle. He's oh, got Jackson goodness. all alone to shot oh, Jackson. No. Fly, Eagles, fly. Touchdown, joke. Boogs made a terrible mistake. I mean, he no sent pressure. the whole house, probably thinking that Joke was going to be running. Joke no blocked everyone, only had one vertical wow, route and a wheel, down. hit the wheel to the, to the right down. side, and scored with no time remaining. That was a backbreaker. Look at it again. Vertical. Yikes. Big time play, big time call here at the end of the half. No pressure, and now man. Boogs has digged himself a hole. Down 14, he will get it first. That is discouraging if you're Boogs, but you know what, he's an experienced player. As much as that stings, he knows he needs to put that behind him and focus on this drive right here. It's just tough to see that at the end of the half. When you know coaches' suggestions, when it gave you a better defense? It's one second left. I mean, quarters three deep, man up three deep. Even if you run the ball for 30 yards, it, it doesn't matter. You just got to protect the end zone. It's, it's easy to coach from up here, but that's one that books, I guarantee you, he wishes he could take back. Second and eight, got to refocus here. Down 14. Garoppolo. Fletcher Cox, there he is again, Peter. Man coverage right there. I don't think Boogs was ready for it. Fletcher Cox got in, and it's such a headache. These Eagles are legit. Boogs from Atlanta, Georgia. Joke from West New York, New Jersey. It's, it's a real place. It's not made up. <laughs> it does exist. And wheels it around to the fullback, the big fella. Get out to the 44. Here's another fourth down. Pressure situation right here for Bugs. If you joke, you, you can get a little cute here. You can get all the momentum right now. The pressure's really on Bugs for this play. Jimmy G, that quick throw, and Kittle again. once oh. again, this time leads forward and gets it. Oh. Mm. Life on the edge. Flat was open on the left side. I think Bugs was assuming there was going to be a flat there. There wasn't. He threw to the middle was fortunate to fall forward. So that got him a new set of downs here. 2.45 to go. Good one, will motion out. Garoppolo will just throw it away. We've had so many players come through, and you can see they could go home. They, they, they could go to the hotel, they could go get something to eat. User Drini. Little man, they're not having it. They, they want to see how this night ends up. Uh, I, I can imagine the trash talking that's going right down there on the floor between one great user who's going to be a heavy advocate for Bugs. He's going to have little man, you know, he's going to be all in rooting for joke. Let me get those two mic'd up, just going back and forth. And, and Drini's just there for the laughs. Look at all the other players sitting around, showing support, showing love. Love to see it. Here's Garoppolo on a big third and nine for Boogs. Kittle that slot receiver. He has that wide receiver apprentice ability. Needs to get to the 43-yard line on the other side. Garoppolo fires, low throw to Kittle. Nice job there by Boogs. So I think he actually went ahead and put him on that wide receiver apprentice corner route. Low ball that pass, very difficult to stop in zone coverage. And the cool thing about Kittle is he does have that receiver apprentice, so he gets four extra hot routes, whether he's at the tight end position, whether he's at the outside receiver position, the slot receiver position, no matter what, he always gets those four additional hot routes where a guy like Ertz, who has tight end apprentice, he only gets them when he aligns at the tight end. Good read. Wide open this time. Maybe knocked out of bounds at the 15. It's a long drive. How do you get that? Second and two. I, this 49ers team is an interesting choice. I don't think problem right would even use the 49ers. I want to call something out. Joke just went with man-aligned defense that he put in in coaching adjustments. 
So it looks like he's going to probably run zone, but make it look like man. Nice run there for the first down. Got it at the eight yard line. It's going to be first to goal with 32 seconds to go. This is a lot of time that has gone away here in the third. It's exactly what Joke wants. If he's going to score, make him waste that clock. Motion out. Fletcher Cox forces him to throw it. The block shed right in the middle of the field, especially when that, that X factor, you know, flashes at you. You're like, I got to get rid of it. <laughs> it's about to get nasty. End of the third quarter, 21 to seven. Joke in a commanding lead. Got to put your fours up. Remember, this is a win or go home situation. Joke, even if he holds on here, has to win another game to make it to tomorrow. Off topic, can we be called near jumbo as it goes into <laughs> near jumbo? I like it. Hey, if you need us to block, we're ready. I have a high zone block rating. Good play. Oh, Good better hit. hit. Huge hit. Should have been a touchdown. Instead, it's going to be third and goal. That'll wake you up a little bit. A long drive. Now you got yourself in a third down situation. This is two down territory, though, for Bucks. And Coleman will break the plane. Oh, Lord. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Are you fucking kidding 21-13. And Bucks will kick the extra point. And we're back to one score with 4.54 to go. How about that drive? Was that 14 plays, 93 yards? I mean, what a drive by Bugs. Now, Joke needs to keep his composure here. Based off history of Joke, we know that when he starts getting mad, he could just kind of throw himself out of the game. And you could tell right there he was frustrated. Let's see how he bounces back and answers on this drive. He's gotten, to his credit, he's gotten a lot better at that. And uh, since that is something he's improved on, the results have worked wonders for him. Have been amazing. A couple years ago, I mean, it, it cost him games. Games, money, potentially belts. I don't know how many times he lost to Skimbo in <laughs> big games. But here he is with a chance to flip the script up by seven. There's the motion from Ertz. He'll hand it off. Good. Morris right there misses it, but gets some help on the outside, and that's going to force a second and 11. Great Coming up D. on four minutes to go. That was great D right there. He's blitzing those linebackers, though, so I think Joke might go back with that quick pass because he is in that 5-2. I think Joke realized that. The way he's stopping the run is just blitzing those inside linebackers. It's going to get exploited up the middle on a pass play. Either the quick pass, maybe the stretch. When someone blows right. up my dive like that, I say, let me, let me see what you can do with my stretch. Fake motion. Back to the dive. Back to the dive. 13 carries, 95 yards, and a touchdown. But here comes third down. Will he go to the air? Stays in, in this running formation, this 12 personnel. Wentz, quick Got drop, it. quick throw. What a hit. Can't hang on. Bugs with a big play to force fourth down. I love the idea by Joke on the motion post route, but Bugs showing that, yes, I am over 30, but I do got stick, man. I wish I had stick like that, and I am over 30, unfortunately. Cup of Bugs faces, the moats in the chat. See what it can do. Going to be a long drive, 2.54 to go. He's got it at the 13. He's got to go all the way. Looks like Joke switched up his defense, got out of the 146. He's in nickel normal, pinch defensive line. He's Fletcher got to have a blitz. He's got to have something to dial up one time here. Hand it off to Coleman. Coleman got caught up on his lineman for just a moment. That's going to be a gain of eight. Second and two. Clock on the move. 2.30 to go now. Garoppolo 
Kittle, he's been the security blanket. And he'll pick up the first down out at the 30. That, that willingness to just tech, check down and take that drag when it's there, it, it may seem simple, but I see so many players just, they, they take it once and then they just get stuck just looking downfield, looking downfield. Books, he's a stubborn cookie. He, he's just gonna stick with it. And uh, if you give it to him, he's taking it. And so far, so good for him as he's still in this ball game. First and 10. Two minute warning. Books still with all three timeouts to work. Jimmy, here comes Fletcher Cox. Quick throw to Kittle. He'll drag the toes out at the 47 near midfield. Great throw right there, great read. Got over the flat zone, had just enough time to get that pass before the pressure was coming in. Great job by Books. Kittle, so versatile. That's great run block. Of course, you see Bill Bickle, number 74 there as well. Joe Staley, as he's able to hold the edge. Coleman will get outside, can't get out of bounds. And so the clock will be on the move. I think it's better that he didn't get out of bounds right there. I don't think he wants to have Joe have this last possession. Swings it outside. Big tackle. That's a big tackle right there. And we will see a timeout here by Bugs with 120 to go. Big third and four. And what that confirms that timeout right there is now this is officially going to be the last drive of the game potentially for Bugs. He's in a do or die situation right here, not just for this game, but for this entire tournament. Watch out for that drag route. Mesh post. That's and and he'll flat. wheel it up instead to Coleman, and I believe that's going to be short. Fourth and one, and it goes hurry up. For the game, this could be it. To the air, quick throw, it's not Whoa. there! Oh, what a tackle! Too fucking smart. Great D. I'm too fucking Why smart. Why Joke is saying he's so smart is because he was giving him that for majority too of the game. He was playing zone. Right there, he actually mixed it up, went man coverage, books, thought it was zone coverage, threw it. The guy manned up on him, stopped him, and it's turnover on downs. Hands it off here to Howard. A lot of carry too for old number 24. Ball security of the utmost responsibility at this point. It's a good run by Bugs. I mean, that's heartbreaking. We're talking about a yard separating you from, you know, picking up that first down, continuing the drive, and, continuing and his, your run. And his for this loss, it was a yard. Remember, Bugs, uh, uh, the last time he was out against Beast Mode Mac, right. it was a yard he needed. Right. Uh, that's gonna, it's a that's, game of inches going to be a tough one for Bugs, but you know what? He's resilient. He's tough. We're going to see him compete throughout the rest of this season. And how about Echo Fox joke? I mean, this guy just continues to stay so consistent, gets it done time and time again, and keeps his quest for that first belt of his Madden career alive. And Joke's one of those guys. He's at the point where the money is important. The money is nice. But if you ask him, that belt is everything to him. Hey, if I take a delay, is it going to run off? Bugs? Bugs. Bugs. If I'm Bugs, I'm not helping him. Bugs ain't listening. Fourth and six. <laughs> Let him take a delay and the clock run off. Bugs, man. <laughs> Admin. 21 to 14. Okay, five seconds separating, and he'll use a timeout here. And he should punt this one away. I punt this thing out of the back of the end zone. You know, a good thing to lab in this situation, if you joke, is how much time gets taken off the clock if you sky kick it. Yeah. Because that could be an option. If you know that a sky kick's going to give me five to six seconds if I if I max it out, that, that might be where you want to go. It's going to go to the sideline here. I think it did go sky kick. And that'll be it. Yeah, that is a boomer. Ooh, one second. I think he, he needed to kick Bugs. it straight instead of out of bounds with the sky kick in that situation, and that's ball game. Really too far out of bounds. You saw when it swing back down, he gave so much error to that sideline. That's going to give Bugs one more shot at it. I'm going quick base right here. I'm praying. If you look, look quick back, base. If you look back at it, boys, that touchdown before the end of the half for Joke, looking like it's going to be the difference unless Bugs can pull off a miracle. Yeah, Bugs. Had a blown coverage. 
at the end of the half. Really shut him down in the second half. Just couldn't put up Go enough points. Blitz. Last shot blitz. here for Boogs. He's not going to be able to reach it. Overthrows Goodwin, and Mills will haul it in and choke. It's a game away from playing tomorrow. GG's in the chat. Spam those GG's in the chat right now. Yeah. Throw up some of those Boogs emojis as well. Show him some love. Right. He, had, he had a phenomenal run in this tournament. Great game. Okay. Joe gets the win. We got so many games going on. So let's go ahead and 